Enjoy yourself, dog. <laughs> you bitch. Fuck you. Y'all, y'all gave us a run for our money. Yeah. I'll see you. All right. Take care. I fear no one but Larry Bird because if you keep it close and he has a chance to win it. People always ask me who's the hardest player I've ever had to guard. And there was Michael Jordan, George Gervin, the late great Mike Mitchell. I mean, so many players. I always say Larry Bird. And I say this for the reason because with Larry, okay, say if you're guarding Michael, when Michael passed the basketball, he kind of hung on his shorts and he sit off to the side. With Larry, when he passed the basketball is when he became more dangerous. He didn't impress me no more than any other white guy I've ever seen play before. I think that you would say that most black players at the time were racist in, in the sense that we did not think that you could find a, a white guy who could play better than any black guy. I'm thinking, oh, he's slow, he can't get off a shot. He's not that strong. This is gonna be a layup. Bam, knocks down a jump shot. Okay, maybe that was luck. <laughs> Gets the ball again. Bam, knocks down another jump shot. Now I'm thinking like, okay, hey, you know what? I'm finna D this guy up. I'm gonna show him what it's like. 20 feet away. Bam. 25 feet away. Bam. I my mind just goes to the damn this white guy can play. And I know a lot of you young folks may not really remember Larry Bird that well, but that man was a magician. And yeah, no, he was amazing. And uh, he was 6'9 and he had the skill set of, of of a guard. He wasn't that fast. He wasn't that great of an athlete. Could he jump. had the heart of a lion. Mm -hmm. And um, and so playing against him was kind of my real first taste of, man, that's, I, I want to do that, right? I want to compete against that every day. That's the kind of thing that's going to make you a monster. And there were a lot of great players. I mean, make no mistake, I faced a lot of great players every day. But I think when I came into the league, Larry Bird was at his peak. And he was, he was incredible at what he did. And, um, and he was humble, and he, he came to work every single day. And I admired that. And so I think he was my, he was my favorite to play against, particularly early in my career. Um, I think it was 80, 86, 87. So I, we were playing Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. So they gave me the task of guarding Larry Bird. <laughs> so it's Gordon Larry Bird, I'm like this 25 year old rookie in the league. They said, Dennis, you have to guard him. And I'm like, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> guard him. So I, that was my whole job to guard the toughest guy on the team, nice. on the other teams. So, you know, so I'm guarding him. And every time I turn my head, he's over there in the three point line. He said, I'm over here, Rook. I'm like, <laughs> You know, I gotta go out there and run out there like a dumb, dumb ass. <laughs> so let's go out there trying to contest him. He hit the three. I'm like, okay, da 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 da. Game five in the old Boston Guard. Yeah. Larry goes down with an injury late in the second quarter. Larry goes down, goes to locker room. Start to third, no Larry. Couple minutes go by, no Larry. We're looking at one another like, yeah, we're going to beat yeah. the Celtics yeah. in the guard. No one ever beat the Celtics in the guard. Six. 46, I remember it to this day, of the third quarter. It felt like a train in the middle of old Boston. That's how loud it was. The crowd was so loud. And I remember looking at Chuck and we said to ourselves, you in trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in yeah. those six minutes, Celtics go on a 33 to 14 run and they beat us in game five. Look, I know we were, you're supposed to be competitors, but you know I'm going against the guy who I patterned my game after, and you put on an unbelievable performance. I remember sitting on the bench watching Kevin McHale and Larry Bird, and Larry Bird did something. To me, I'm still marveling at this, and he got so many people. It was a timeout, and one of our teammates, Bart Kofold, had a camera. Right. He's taking pictures. So Larry Bird came over there and looked at our bench, and he said, uh, three-pointer from right over here. <laughs> so I'm sitting over there looking like, uh, Babe Ruth, <laughs> Man, right. calling your shot already, Point. right? Yeah. So I see, I'm sitting there looking. He looked down at the floor. Hell, everybody looked down at the floor. He like, like he threw something. And he had the three. Oh! Can you believe that? 
And I remember Kevin kind of looking over at the bench like this is going to be a long night. And Larry Bird was shooting anywhere. If you think about how many times he won a championship and what he was doing and what he was averaging, people don't understand. They was like, oh, he was slow. He wasn't a, nah, he was just smart. You know what I'm saying? He was smart and he can get it. He can get it done. He wasn't MVP all them times and all the All-Stars all them times for nothing. I'm going to take you over to this corner. I'm going to dribble two times. I'm going to hit your ass in the face. And it, and it bet not touch the rim. Wow. And then he said, if it do, I'm going to come right back and do it again until it touches. That's how Larry Bird used to get out. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, Larry Bird was the coldest shit talker ever, man. And he bag it up because he was so cold. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? So people ask people about him. Motherfucker used to tell you, boy, you can't do shit with me. I'm too motherfucking good for this. Wow. I'm gonna give you a Christmas present. This jumper in your face. Uh, he's <laughs> always say this. The one I really hated uh, to guard uh, was uh, Larry Bird. Hmm. Uh, he was not a nice guy. <laughs> uh, Matter of fact, there was one game in, in Cleveland where he was having a pretty rough first half. And in the old days in Cleveland, you walked off the court at, uh, the same way at halftime. And I kind of puffed up on him and walked beside him and was like, yeah, you're one for 10. I was like, that's defense, you know, and um, he just kind of looked at me and said, there's two halves. <laughs> and he came back out and hit about 10 in a row on me. And the last one was left handed. And he asked me if my mother was watching because <laughs> uh, he wanted to embarrass me. So <laughs> the resume is long, yeah. but he's really known for two things mostly shooting and talking trash on the court. Yeah. Which one bothered you the most? His shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, his shot was just so like perfect. You know, and, and not only was it perfect, you know, my mother-in-law nicknamed his, his jump shot Silent Death mm -hmm. because when he shot it, the ball just like rolled in the air and it was almost like it was playing a song the way it was like just moving in the air and then it would just swish through. I mean, it, it, his shot was just so, and he was just, you know, as a, as a competitor, I mean, he was a killer. I mean, just a straight killer. How incredible. Bird and the Celtics were in their prime. I said, they were almost impossible to go in there and beat. And they said, why? I said, because you could not make a mistake with them. If you turn your head or you don't rotate right on time or whatever it was, those guys made you play. And it was him. Like he was like, a, he was a savant on the court, like just a savant, like two plays ahead on everything. And so um, I, I was just talking about this uh, maybe three or four days ago, how hard it was to go into Boston and be the team when Bird is in his prime. There's nobody that I ever played against that I love and respected more than Larry Bird. The man, listen, you couldn't give him an inch or he would just shoot it right in your face. He was dominant at both ends of the court. And so uh, Larry Bird made me a better player and I think I made him a better player. And together we made the NBA better. That definitely is a fact. But yeah, appreciate y'all. It was a good video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell. And I'm out of here. And I know I didn't do no intro because I'm getting through these videos for y'all. And I just feel like, you know, sometimes I'm just going to get straight into the video. But yep, I'm out of here. Love y'all so much. Peace.